Hi guys, my name's Seb Tudor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back to Torment Tides of Numenera. Now again, I can't really remember what we we're doing, so let's take a look at what we we're doing. We need to ask the person to use the mirror caster, yes, so that we can go and relive someone else's memory again and find out where the dude who can help us with the resonance chamber is, so we can crack on with that. Um, find the endless gate inside the necropolis, so we'll go back down and do that in a bit. Um, tell Phoenix that you found his tomb. He's back outside, so he's back the way we came. What's this? Um, I think we need to head outside for that one as well. Oh yeah, we need to find help for Eritus. Eritus, rather. And then also, my personal quest. If, as and when, we have enough money, which I think we do, we need to go back and buy our armor back that I miss, that I accidentally sold in the wrong sodding place when we first got it. So, right. Let's talk to her and use this mere caster first, though. Um, I'm ready to talk... To Mazov, show me the mirror caster. Um, you are a thoughtful, able student, and I hope that you will remember what you've learned in the tasks I set you. Be gentle with Zarian. You are violating his mind. Be true to his path. Find what you need and return without causing him harm. You have a duty to preserve his life as he intended it, if at all possible. Cool. Okay, let's do this. I don't really know much about Zarian though, so you know we'll, we'll crack on. Um, when you first open your eyes, there's a, only a ruddy glow and frightening shapes and shadows around you. The air is hot and stifling. As your eyes adjust, you realize you're outside, but the sky is darkened by clouds of pitch. The ruddy glow comes from lava flows as they trundle down distant mountains into the, the volcanic fields all around you. Sharp towers pierce the sky, tapered like the bones of a ribcage. Okay, fair enough. Um, in day, indeed, they look like bones in every way, as, as does the ground beneath you. You appear to be standing on the spine of an enormous beast. The bottom of its jaw can be seen far in the distance. Can it? Apparently not in this piece of artwork, unless it's over here somewhere. Um, half buried beneath the layer of cooled lava. Uh, most of the bone towers look identical, but one shines from the inside with an odd blue light, which I'm guessing is this one over here. <coughs> the top of the tower has been snapped off, and what looks like a transport hovers... Okay. Hovers next to its peak. It's your transport. You were sent here to find something. Twisted bridges connect the spine to the volcanic fields around you. In one direction lie enormous formations of obsidian, arches, spires, a wall. In the other direction, a narrow pass is carved into the mountain face. The field leading to the canyon is illuminated by hundreds of glowing lights. You know this body wasn't sent to find Mazov, but Adiris, Adiris said he'd appear. Perhaps following through events will lead. Okay, we'll try to remember who you are and how you can find Mazov. Yeah, tr probably best to try and remember who we are. Um, you can't remember any of the memories this body once had, but you know his name was Zerian Daywalker. You remember another name, though. You don't know its significance, the Chimera. Um... Zerian is wearing a black, form-fitting suit that keeps off the worst of the heat. He carries a whip and various ornaments that remind you of the dead. Seeing the ornaments, you re realize they're not just decorative. You can feel the dead around you, as well as the stories of those who died here. Zerian must have had some strange connection beyond the world of the living. Perhaps that has something to do with the way he was... Uh, with why he was sent on this mission. Okay, let's have a quick look around. 
You search through the tower after tower. Some of the chambers you come uh, to are filled with piles of dead relics, broken ciphers, but nothing of value. Finally, you come across something promising. You find a staff made of some prior world metal. It's cool to the touch, unusual given the extreme temperature of the air itself, and burn marks blacken one end. Very likely this was used as a weapon. It may work again, but probably only once. You take the staff with you. Um, use your connection to the dead to learn more about the area of the spine. You're in a place called the Fields of Ossifagan. Ossifagan? Either way. And many have lived here, lived and died here, though it seems a terrible place to live. Scavengers from Sagus Cliffs have been through here in recent centuries, seeking treasures of the past. Before that, it was mutants fleeing revolution after bloody revolution in a place called Haref. Before that, refugees from a village called Shuena, or Shuena. Before that, the Ossifagans themselves. You see a glimmer of a powerful artifact hundreds of years ago. There was a battle here. Many died. Two people, a middle-aged woman and a teenage girl, fought over a copper sphere at the top of the glowing bone tower. Perhaps the copper sphere is what you were sent here to find. Okay, well, let's, let's head to the tower, shall we? You are at the top of the broken t broken bone tower. Jagged bone walls act as a kind of parapet. Um, from here, you can see the fields of Ossifagan even, uh, even better. The spine below you, the obsidian formations in one direction, the glowing fields in front of the mountain pass in the other. Floating just next to the tower is a hovering pod made of azure steel. The ramp leads from the parapet into the transport. Let's learn about the tower. Little has happened here, but for one event that immediately becomes apparent, you see a middle-aged woman, you know her name is Amma, facing off against a young girl named Thea. Amma is hovering in the air like the transport does now. She holds a copper sphere that glows with a golden light. Angry words are exchanged, and suddenly Thea leaps off the tower and tackles Amma. The two, then, the two of them soar through the air toward the obsidian formations in the distance. Okay, then... We should probably head to the obsidian formations, but I kind of want to look inside our transport. As you approach the ship, tingling crawls up your spine. Your round sense of a task unfinished. Okay. Don't board it yet. Obsidian formations. Crossing the volcanic plains, you arrive at the obsidian formations. Massive structures of cooled, shining rock leap from the ground, curling into impossible shapes. And enormous black wall uh, rings most of the formations, rising a hundred meters out of the ground in places. The f obsidian formations are dark, quiet, and desolate. A hot wind blows from magma flows uh, farther off, but here nothing flows and nothing lives. In the distance, you can see the spine, the bone towers, and in the other direction, the plains stop at a sheer cliff face and the mountain pass carved between. Okay, use my connection to the dead to learn more. The obsidian formations did not form naturally. Creatures made of pure light, called fire, uh, fire whites, formed them. Uh, formed these structures out of hot, flowing magma, then supercooled them into the shapes they are now. The whites were trying to get at something, or someone. You see a pair of figures atop a small flying platform. One of them holds a copper sphere that glows with a golden light. The whites tried to uh, trap them here with their wall, but they escaped and flew towards the mountain pass. Explore this area? Oh no. Uh, a Jimon. Gamorn is not a nice thing at all. Um, you search the area remotely. Uh, find, you search for anything remotely interesting, but the place is barren. As you are about to leave, the orange glow reflects off the rocks ahead. An enormous paw steps in your path, and the rest of the creature emerges. It's a Gamorn, pillar of light with claws. 
a hundred faces twisting in its body, emerging, howling, then melting back into the curling fire. The creature is easily three meters wide and at least twice as tall. Um... Let's use the staff, shall we? You aim the charred end of the staff um, at the center of the Jamon, or Gamon, and press the button on the side. Thunder claps in the air and a scalding beam of light strikes out the Gamon's face, or faces. Howls in pain, its rage uh, wasn't directed at you before, but it is now. It charges at you. You try to fire the staff again, but nothing happens. The staff is useless. I fucked up. Run! Uh, Gamon. Uh, lets out a piercing cry. It stays right on your tail the entire way, forcing you to sprint, gasping for breath in the hot air. You can feel the Gamorn's rage like a hand pressing against your back. It presses harder, squeezing your mind and the Gamorn's howl... Um, howl makes the ground tremble. Suddenly the pressure releases in the air and it's burning cold. You risk a glance behind you to realise you are in the centre of the plains leading to the mountain pass, surrounded by fireways. The Gamorn ra uh, grabs whites one at a time, tearing them in, uh, in two, then tossing them aside. The whites rush forward together to defend themselves against the horrible beast. In their anger, you are forgotten and ignored. Um, learn more. Uh, you see a group of people in tattered clothing march through the pass and out of these fields. Uh, they are terrified, having lost many of their number to the whites. You see two figures riding a small flying platform, almost like a shield. Suddenly the platform teeters and the figures fall. You can see the spot where the shield fell, and though the bodies are no longer there, you can feel their presence very strongly. And there, a short distance away, you can see where one of the figures dropped what looks like a copper sphere. Um... speak to them shall we though there are no bodies on the surface you can feel the dead beneath the rock preserved by magma that has flowed over this spot over the centuries one is the middle aged uh, woman named Anna the other is a girl but she is strangely silent even with your strange powers there is nothing there to speak with peace says Anna uh, is it better Better, yes. Better oblivion. Okay, who are you? Armour? The disembodied voice uh, sounds like it's call calling Armour rather than naming herself. No, not Armour. Shelled. Cast away. Eaten alive and eaten again. Not Armour. Food for whites. What happened to you? Buried to death before that lived, before that died. Before that lived and died and lived and so many cycles, so many deaths. Before that, someone else awoke and remembered a fight a girl a limnion okay though you cannot see armor her presence moves through you turns your head you see the f in the fields in the distance what she is talking about the limnion a sphere of burnished metal lying on the rock and you know this is what you were sent here for why can't i speak with the girl gone gone but not gone she woke something. Vengeance. Though not vengeance is in her. No, though no vin vengeance is in her. So did she wake up the... The Gamorn, maybe? Because they're not nice things. You feel Armour's presence looking off towards the obsidian formations. Uh, there's something glowing and moving over there. Right, yeah, okay. So it's the... She woke up the Gamorn. Something pissed them off. Uh, pissed it off. Um... Can we get the shield? The whites don't uh, bother you as you try to pry the shield from the ground, but after a few minutes of tugging and digging, you realise it's impossible. The rock has cooled and melted and cooled again several times before uh, around the device. It's not going anywhere. Okay, well, let's get the sphere. With the whites' attention focused exclusively on the dangerous Gamorn, it's easy for you to slip in, grab the sphere. None of the creatures notice you at all. Okay. Let's return to the spine then. Head towards the transport tower. Head to the transport. You step aboard. The transport does not appear to have been uh, made with adult humans in mind. There is only room enough for you to lay down. And even then, 
you have to roll on your side and bend in your legs slightly. As soon as you have done so, the ramp recedes and the doorway disappears. Your stomach lurches as the transport takes to the sky. At first, you try to peer out the tiny portholes, but all you see is pitch black, presumably the volcano's black clouds. Eventually, they are replaced by the black of a starry sky. You try to see the land below, but it's impossible in the cramped space. Hours pass. Finally, the transport slows, its humming ceases, and the door reappears. Uh, you step out of the transport, stretching painfully. You are in a strange cavern. Artifacts are strewn everywhere in various stages of repair or experimentation. One wall is covered in a network of displays, showing people and scenes that mean nothing to you. In the centre of the room is an enormous cage made from steel tendrils uh, that twist together at the top. The cage glows for a moment and a figure walks out. He wears a thick cloak, but his face is most strange. It shifts and blurs, changing its features constantly. You get the impression that you are seeing a person, but you can't define what that person looks like at all. His name comes to your mind immediately, the Chimera. Excellent, the Chimera's voice is metallic and artificial, shifting as often as the features of his face. His expressions slide and change, but all of them are smiling as he reaches forward and takes the sphere from you. I knew your unique gifts would come in handy, Zerian. I'm impressed that you found the Alimnian, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, so quickly. The Chimera sets the Alimnian on a nearby table with a clunk. He immediately picks up a variety of scanning tools, one after the other, probing the Olympian and its secrets. He seems to have forgotten about you. You look around the cavern, but there are no entrances or exits, nowhere this uh, Mazov could be except for the cage. Um, examine the cage to figure out how it works. You take two steps towards the cage, but the moment you reach your hand towards it, the Chimera stops you with a bark. What do you think you're doing? Your mission is complete. I have no purpose for you other than... Uh, I have no purpose for you out there. Whereas Mazov, I need to speak to him. Mazov? The Chimera's altering voice slips from baritone to falsetto in a rapid series of notes. A dozen different eyes narrow with suspicion. I'm not sure that Tinkerer could tell you anything useful, but I can think of reason, no reason to deny you. The Chimera turns and slides a hand along one of the metal tendrils. Although no discernible interface appears, he presses his fingers against the metal twice and the cage begins to glow. Chimera turns his attention back to the sphere, indicating uh, you should enter the cage with a dismissive wave. Two of the metal tendrils become a kind of doorway. On the other side, Mazov squats on some sandy alien shore. Stars twinkle in the sky behind him, but they are no stars you recognise. He picks up his head as though he heard uh, something and he turns around to face you. One of his eye sockets is artificial, uh, alternately projecting a human eye, a snake and a, uh, a snake eye and something even more alien in the time he looks over you. Uh, he looks you over, sorry. He looks like a shipwreck survivor, bare chested, ragged pants, ragged beard. If so, he's better fed than you'd expect. Zarian, he says, his human eyes squinting in the light. What the hells do you want? He peers forward as though trying to see into the cavern. Where are you? I'm on the god's damn beach, having the time of my life. Where's it look like I am? He crosses his, he, his, crosses his arms across his chest. What the hells did you want? Um... The resonance chamber has been smashed. I need to know how to fix it. He puts a hand to his chin, all anger and suspicion gone in the face of a puzzle. Well, it ain't that hard if you know the basics. The chamber's crystals, yeah? So it's grown, not built. So long as the chamber's core is intact, it should know how to grow itself. You just need a catalyst to... Why do you want to know this? The resonance chamber's only good for... Who sent you? Why are you after this? Mm. The 
Spectre uh, being in my head. He told me if I fix it, I could stop the sorrow from hunting us down. I don't doubt it would stop the sorrow and a great many other things. I don't know how, but the changing gods trying to use you. If the chamber's fixed, nobody benefits but him. You can't trust a damn word the bastard says. It wasn't a changing god who told me. Ha, well, if that's true, then it's someone who only has our sire's interests in mind. Stay away is my advice. Resonance chamber's only good for one thing, and that's snuffing us out. The changing god plans to use it to merge all of us. Every cast off that still lives back into his body. That's his plan for stopping the sorrow. Look, I don't know what... Uh, know who you are or what your part in this is but you cannot let him activate the chamber you need he glances over his shoulder at something in the cavern though when you turn you see nothing there the first is alive he whispers drawing your attention back to him and she's got her own plan for the chamber one that won't kill us all our sire has a new cast-off body that he plans to use as a catalyst for the chamber, but the first has a better plan, something that won't snuff out every last one of us. Looking, uh, Look for her in, in the bloom. Just make sure you don't. Before you can finish, you feel a wrenching, tw wrenching twist in the centre of your body like your heart is being wrung dry. Your vision tunnels black and you feel as though your body were uh, being sucked through a steel pipe. You're being pulled out of the mirror, but it's far more painful than it ever was before. Then Mazov, the cave, and everything else disappears. I'm ready to something here. Okay. So, that's interesting. The hell are we? The hell are you? Oh, the spectre. Is he less green than he was before? Uh, you plant your hand um, on the icy floor and push, staggering up on uh, up to your feet. Every inch of your body aches as though you've been crushed by a massive hand. The spectre stands before you, impassive. It may be your imagination, but he seems more solid than before. What's happening? Why am I in the labyrinth? Your words tumble into the air and fall apart like handfuls of dust. And this time you're certain the spectre is less transparent than he was a, uh, even a second ago. I brought you here, the spectre says calmly. We need to talk. You barely hear him through the pain. This is your mind, honed in your uh, duel against malaise. Sharpened to a glittering edge, you inhale. Clear the pain from your limbs and gather your thoughts to you, focusing... Uh, you open your eyes. The spectre, now slightly transparent, is speaking again. I have something I've been meaning to tell you. You see, I haven't been completely honest with you. I'm not part of you. You're part of me. I created you. I'm the changing god. Um, is that why I couldn't read your thoughts? You hid them somehow. Of course. You didn't think I lived for so long without learning to lie, did you? Even from mind readers. Now... I know this is a lot to take in. It means this body of yours is actually mine. I lived in it for years, and now that we know the first is still alive, I need it back. Nope. <laughs> I knew you'd say that, but let's get this straight. I lived in this body. I made it for a purpose, and now you say, uh, and now you say your wisp of a life outweighs my centuries of experience. Or maybe you think my fi my first cast off has a better way. Hmm? Some magical solution to live out your false existence without price. I promise you, she has no such thing. She has always only killed to get what she wants. Her self-interest is just as strong as yours and mine. The only difference between the three of us is that I am real. Okay, I was there, there was a part of me a little while ago that was kind of like, maybe well, you know, we're going to get some choices between these people. Maybe it won't be too bad. Maybe it'll be pretty bad. You know, let, let's see how this goes. Maybe the, the changing god might be someone that I can actually empathise with. Maybe he's not as bad as... No, he's a dick. Um, I, I, don't, I don't care for for this. Because it's it's almost ageism. 
and that kind of bugs me in, in the world anyway. Uh, you wouldn't exist if it weren't for me. You don't exist apart from me. Everything you are is the byproduct of my skills, my intellect, my experience. And now that I have the chance to stop the sorrow to save us all, you refuse me? Who in the hells are you? Um, the new owner of this body. So suck it. It was never yours to take. No, let me tell you what you are. You're an accident of fate. A parasite in the mind I built. You're a child. I don't want to destroy you, but if I, uh, but I will if I must. Give me control. No. Then I'll take it. Tidal energy pour. Oh. Tidal energy pours uh, from the air around you, flowing into the spectre. The ground itself slips around your feet, holding you in place. You feel your grip on your body, your mind slipping by finger lengths. Uh, you are diminished. He is winning. You search your mind, your hard-earned memories, for something that will loosen his hold on you. Your machines have driven women in Sagas mad. What makes you think? Ooh, call upon the ghost woman from the recesses of your mind. Let's do it. The moment your mind touches on her, she is there, facing the spectre, sorrow and anger radiating from her eyes and heart. Scowling, the spectre flicks his hand to the side and she fades away once more, taking some of his radiance with her. Okay. Spectre winces as if you struck him, mutters something under his breath. His outline blurs and becomes hazier. Hmm. I'm going to rip you out of my mind. This expression hardens. You won't live that long. In another few minutes, your mind will be tattered wisps of thought. Pull your feet free. You struggle against the ground even as it creeps up your legs but cannot free yourself. We don't need to fight. We aren't fighting. An argument requires two people. At best, you're a muscle cramp, a headache. Let's, let's, let's try again. Ooh, turn tides against... Groaning, you strain against the floor. You're trapped. Do it! <laughs> the spectre's eyes widen as you straighten, gathering the threads of the tides in your hands. You raise them before you. Don't, the spectre growls as you ignore him, wrenching the threads apart. Agony explodes in your mind, lashing through your body, damaging essential parts of you and the spectre as well. Uh, with a shuddering gasp, he stumbles backwards, fading in and out of visibility. The pressure on your mind dwindles and ends. Fine, he says, eyeing you with a cold contempt. If you're so intent on stopping the sorrow on your own, have at it. Let's see how you handle what's in store without my help, my guidance. Then he fades completely, but speaks again. His voice is coming from all around you, from every corner of your mind, but not gone. He's not gone, only hidden himself in your mind. I wasted my time trying to reason with you. That won't happen again. Well, he's a douche. It's all right. We'll, uh, we'll sort this out, I, I have no doubt. Cool, so that's... Okay, so that's closed off. We get need even more XP. Get a lot of XP. It's not a bad thing. Um, as the portal closes behind you, something feels off. It only takes you a second to realise the spectre is gone. It is quieter now in the calm of your mind, but he's not truly gone, is he? You can still feel him out there watching, waiting, perhaps for a moment of re weakness in which to strike. Of course. Has, has our mind expanded a little more? Yes. Okay, so you're... Okay, so that's Eratus, the, the dude. That's... Go. Can we do anything with this? Oh, we can open up. That's cool. Well, I didn't know we could do that. Cast the Sorrow Fragment out of the clock fan. Okay. Didn't realise that we could uh, we could open that up quite so easily. 
But yeah, let's get in and make a mess. Um, as you cross through the portal, you hear a ring synth plate being battered, followed by frantic shouts. Focus, villain, villon, rather. Keep the beast away from me. I just need a little more time. You think focus is my problem? This is a piece of the sorrow, not some broken hound. Brothers, calm yourselves. Your friend, our friend, is not uh, lost as we are, as we feared. He will help. Strange. I saw it place a barrier against your you mere seconds ago. You broke through so quickly. Yeah. No matter. I have an esoteric that will banish this creature, but I need a few moments longer to prepare it. Assist Camos in defending me. Or you could, or you know, he could help. How do? Uh, we know that ritual of yours will even work. Complete the thing. As you say, if you have any knowledge of Nuenera, you might be able to assist me speeding up the process. Get over here if that's true. I do! Uh, no, let's let's work I wish I had more hands. with people, shall we? Crisis initiated. Right, so, oh, I get to control you as well? No, I don't. Oh, people have leveled up as well. Um. How about it? I bet your ancestors felt that. That worked pretty well. Right, we're coming up. We're we're coming up over, over like here somewhere. All right. Because we're going to come round over there to, uh, I'm not sure if that was the wisest thing to do, but hey ho, in fact you've got capacity with Numenera as well, so you, you might, right, hold on, how far can you, okay, so we want you to get over here, and then what I think think we'll do is yeah, let's use some of your intellect there may as well hit it there we go oh no oh yeah I completely forgot about Makina um So she can warp dash forward. And then can we still... Oh, okay, that was her movement gone. But we can we can at least move huh. down this way a little more so that next round we can make a, a bit more of a mess. Okay, right. So you're, you're going to want to come down and do something. Nope. You're gonna to want to move, move down here. Absolutely. And okay, well we'll just use that ability. It's fine. Um, you're gonna run All over right. here. Can't talk to him yet. He's doing that. You can come over here. And then Yeah, we'll just we'll just hit him with the same. Minimal effect. I can't have miscalculated. He's he's like taking damage at least, but that Well it missed me. Did it? I'm not sure if it did or not. She'll walk to it and then... Oh, the damage missed. It's a shame. There we go. That wasn't bad. My attack didn't feel strong at all. I mean, we're winning. So there's, there's that. 
How, how can I help? Right. Um, his arms fold and extend in peaceful undulations as he drones a language you do not understand. Motes of light float around uh, his hands. His eyes meet yours. It is a complex esoteria devised to protect against the sorrow. I regret I was never able to make it strong enough for that creature, but perhaps it will be able to aid us here. Um... His gestures swimming through the uh, burgeoning energies surrounding the nano are complex and arcane. His words likewise seem to hold no meaning. You do not need to understand, he says, in uh, intuiting your thoughts. Go, fend it off while I complete the ritual. Okay then, I kind of thought that you wanted help, but okay. Um, let's let's hit him with an onslaught. Let's. I'm not sure what it would take more damage from. Let's go with transdimensional for the moment. Yeah, let's go with a couple. Did I miss? Really? Oh. God damn it! Right. <laughs> That felt like a waste. <laughs> Nearly finished, friends. Don't let your guard down. Okay, that's that's fine. We've still got a few more to to go. Well, at least she's been quite good on the whole blasting it front, so she can blast it some more. And then, quite. I... Oh. Thomas has fallen. Avenge her friends. Okay. Sure. How did that happen? Okay, so apparently that's not doing anything. But we'll use another... There we go. Uh, with a fragment of the Sorogon, you feel new connections between... Uh, being made in your mind as if the sorrow itself were keeping you from your full potential I suppose I should thank you though it's not it though it's your fault I'm here in the first place but I'm sure you would have saved Camo's if you could he stops and stares at his hands they are transparent becoming more so intriguing we are no longer tied to this place our consciousnesses are finding a more suitable location I can uh, I can feel the pull as though my memories are being sifted for material to create something new. What does that mean? Are we dying? Are we free? Neither, I think. It means this part of the mental construct is not ours, not truly. We are being drawn to some place that is, I think. Okay, so does that mean that they're going to be stood outside All with right. with the others? With our other compadres? Psychic, mental, spirit compadres. Oh. As you emerge from the clock fathom, you notice a new portal has appeared where there was only empty space before. There are more fragments beyond it. You can feel them feeding on your mind, strangling your full potential. Something is, has to be done, but only if you're strong enough to face me more of them. Uh, we might leave that for the moment. I don't know where our friends have gone. Maybe they're in there and we need to clear them out as well. But we, yes. we, we'll... Now. We've got some... Like, we can we can level up, so we'll get... We need a rest. What's this? End your turn immediately. Cipher limit increase. Short range. Do you know what? I think we'll increase our cipher limit. As much as I've not used them recently. Oh, we're, we're tier 3. Awesome. Um, but. What do we want to use? Oh, gain. So. Got that. Scanning array. Applied to perception. Law. I think I want that. I like my passive abilities. They they seem much more useful. Oh, we also gained some other stuff as well. Excellent. Stat pools. 
Um, how many? Two. Well, then, fine. We'll just go straight into intellect with those. Cool. Okay, that that was... I mean, we did get a lot of XP before, so that's fine. Okay, let's find out what... You know, we got dragged out by... Oh, I can breathe again. Where's this? Is this supposed to be Mielavast? The vest? Whatever. Oh, God. What happened here? Really? The sorrow happened? Your eyes snap open the first... You fear you've fallen deeper into the labyrinth. Another fathom. Uh, another fathom. Flames rake the ground around you. The bedrock buckling under the heat. The image of Adarice resolves as your vision adjusts to the searing light. Um... Her composure is beginning to crack. You can see the fear in her eyes, held in check only by her iron will. You're awake quickly now. While uh, while you were inside the mere gods, the the shields have fallen. The sorrow is breaking into the sanctuary. It's destroying our home. The others are trying to hold it back. But tell me first, did you find uh, what you were looking for? Yes and no. Uh, you mean the first was right all along? You must find a way to stop him. He must not be allowed to succeed. I knew he was the pinnacle of selfishness, but this. Now we must deal with the situation at hand. A few have already escaped, but most are trapped uh, within the rubble and flames. Some too terrified to move. You must get to the teleportation platform and flee. Save as many as you can on the way. Although the dome is no longer uh, the dome no longer encircles our sanctuary, the generators may hold enough power to slow the uh, sorrow's progress. They can be activated by pacing your palm here and whistling this tune. Good luck, brother. Let's make sure as many survive as possible. Okay. So we need to get over there. Get him out. What's that? Okay. Um, right, first off, let's go and Election. deal with that. Smash it. I have a feeling it's something that Ar Eratus is, is quite capable at. I think they've got that one. I think they're okay. You know. Right, so. I want to go yes. over and, and smash this if I'm capable. Uh, I can be capable. Let's go for that much. There you go. Right. Um. Fat, hold on. Before we continue, oh, we can't because they're because we're fighting. Okay, we'll deal with that later then. Um, okay, you're you're particularly useful, Calistige. So you're going to come over here. Yes, child. Then on your esoteries, please. We're going to unleash hell on that fella. You are no match for me. Go right. Oh, he's charging up. Oh, he only did. He only hit that guy. That's fine. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we can use this. Run, run, friend. Um, Makina, you're gonna go over there and use that thing if you can. There you go, that's that sorted. Right, now we just need to smash that to get Melmoth. Where's she going? Is she going to activate that one? Ooh. I 
make your way out, brothers and sisters. Portal to the necropolis still functions. Okay. So, good job, Eratus, but you're going to come up, um, up to here. straight to here and turn it on. And then... Hmm. So, this didn't go too badly last time, so... Ooh, 19 plus 2? Uh, it didn't hit it. Okay. Fine. Uh, Calistige, you're going to run over there and grab whatever that is. And then you're going to run over there and turn that thing on. Oh. Why are you running there? Kina, I know you don't like the, these these people necessarily, but break it open. Because I have a feeling the more of these people we save, especially the named characters, the the better. Where are you going, <laughs> Adaris? Where are you going? Right. Um. Just, just end its miserable existence. How are we missing? Fine, then we'll head over this way then to go and turn these things on. Or we'll be chased. Okay. I mean, I we've we have kind of spread ourselves out a little thin. At least, at least they did stuff. That's that's cool, right? So move up here, and then just open fire on. I don't understand why we're not doing any damage. I really don't. But. That's fine. What we're, 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 we're going to do is we're going to run you over here. Where are you going? Oh, you're coming after me. Okay. Oh, yeah. It caused bleeding when people hit me now. Akina, go, go get him. Uh, it's here. So this is our doom. Uh, run if you like. I accept my fate. Challenge his defeatist attitude. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, if I fled now, would not the sorrow find me someday anyway? My life has been a futile pursuit of memory. Well, that's kind of sad for you. Are you... What are you doing? Okay, thanks. Okay. The hell is this? Is that the actual sorrow? It's a base we're done for. Okay. Um, 
I guess it's time just to run. Go turn that on. Don't, don't go running through the fire, you dope. Carry on. 800 health. No, no, you want to stay right there. How much damage? Good gods about, it's here, it'll kill us all. Okay, bye. I was, it was me just trying to be the good guy and help folks, but apparently not. Oh, you. Oh. Oh dear. Hope is not lost. The ferret tree. Uh, if there is any truth in the legends, it is our only hope. But you'll need uh, time to understand it. If one of us is brave, perhaps others can live to find a way to stop it. I am brave. I am brave. I will buy the time. Um. Why are you doing this? I speak constantly of sacrifice and the need of others, but and I must not be a hypocrite. Okay. Surrounds herself as she steps forward, a kaleidoscope of beautiful colours, the shifting energies of the tides cast into tangible being. She holds her hands aloft and ethereal fires play around it. The weight of the sorrow's baleful focus settles on her. Okay. Right when she stood between Oh. Well, that did no damage whatsoever. And now he's coming straight for you. <sighs> so hold on, we need to go right through here. So we've, we've avoided that. I'm still over here. I really need to get a move on. How long have we been going? We've been go we're, we're pushing it close on time. Why do you have 
having to interact with this. Okay, so now that he's stopped the tubes from sparking, we need to actually move the stuff out of the way. Nope, 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 nope. Stay where you are. Nope, don't want you. Don't want you. Go away. Too close. Bad touch. Don't, don't like. Um... I think he might have just killed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just killed Alaris. Uh I think we might be fucked. It's quite possible. Right, okay. Um just just smash. Just it, it's, it's something you're good at, just smash. You want a job done right. Okay, now we just need to can't smash that just yet. Now all these guys are going to go running around. I don't think any of them are close enough to me. I think I've moved clear enough for the moment to, to get away. So we'll see. stuff from Adarese. Bollocks. Oh well. In this world, then. You can do it, Calistiche. Oh, there we go. But apparently not. Apparently she's just incapable. Oh, he's going away again. Now, do I run back and steal things? At least from Adoris. It's tempting, but I'm not sure if I should. Just run then. Right, you're you're good. You're, there you go. I am the very soul of action. Smash. There you go. Right, and now you're gonna wanna get in here somewhere. You know what? Forget the loot. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going. We've extinguished fires. We've removed the rubble. We've uh, tried to save as many as, as we can, but they're they're seemingly kind of stuck. So uh, yeah, no, we've we've only got. Gotta just activate the fur ferretery. And I need to catch up. Can I make it? I don't think I could. Right. Okay, so we're gonna come around here. So I'm back with my back with my team. We might save a single well. There was one guy that got away, but other than that, we might save a single cast off. This is done. Oh, maybe two cast offs. Just so long as he goes for this one. 
Oh, that one. That one's good too. That one's fine. Okay, can you get down here and use it? No, you can't. I don't think you can anyway. Yeah, you don't have... You don't have the ability to do so. Right, can you make it work? Uh, turn the nearest bone. Lever rotates slowly across the face of the pyramid, lubricated by the mucus, uh, by a mucus film. It locks into place and withdraws into the pyramid. Cacophonous chittering grows louder. Two bones still protrude from the structure. Okay, so we need to, to press all the bones in, and then we can, like, go. This might go over an hour. It'll only be, hopefully, by a little bit, because I'll call it quits as soon as we find out if we uh, survive this or not. But, um... Yeah, it'll just, it'll just be my, my upload time that suffers. No, go attack him. He wants it. Last cast off turn. Okay. In which case, let's uh, get down here and do some stuff then. Oh, alright. Apparently just walking from there to here is, is not done anything. Calisthenes, you won't let me down. Do it do it do the thing. Uh, a few seconds of pushing ratchets the joints uh, into place. It slides soundlessly into the pyramid. Psychic noise grows even more powerful, more eager. Only one lever remains unturned. Okay. Oh. Apparently that's, uh... There you go. <coughs> I wonder what the sorrow actually is. Because it seems like semi-humanoid. A bit Lovecraftian. Kind of like death, the Grim Reaper. But... Okay, Matt Keener, don't let me down. Press the thing, turn the thing, turn the last joint. Um, gurgling screech rakes the sky. Cacophony of voices lash out, seeking a mind to latch onto. It's seeking you, the last cast off. Okay. Now we've just got to wait for all of these guys to go through their turns. We tried, guys. I'm sure there's, there has to be a way to succinctly save everybody, I would have thought. Either that or they're they, they've made it a, a kind of point that everyone dies. There you go. Last cast off time. Uh, as you approach a voice or a thousand voices moan in your head, forming a connection with your mind, one side of the pyramid swings open, a swirl of transdimensional energy and biological fluids blossoming inside. A portal uh, with something else waiting on the other side. You can only hope it's not wor worse than the sorrow that hunts you here. Well, that's interesting. Does this take us to the bloom? The interior swirls mysterious energy, a loud plaintive chittering My beckons. Before you can react, a powerful gravitic force yanks you and your companions into the structure, away from the horrors of Miela Vast. Um, it wrenches the other surviving cast-offs inside as well, hurling them to other places beyond your reach, and you suddenly find yourself somewhere else. Could it, could it be downstairs where I wanted to buy the armor from, please? I almost guarantee that it won't be, but I would. it would be really nice if it was. Maybe we'll find some better armor. I shouldn't have derped in the first place with it. Oh, but, oh well. Just got a new achievement, Belly of the Beast. Okay, which makes me think we might be in the bloom. Uh, you are pulled through the fer ferretery. World goes dark. Your sense of sight is suddenly failed. 
try to move your limbs and find that you cannot. Um, you are alone, cut off from everyone else. Do you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave it. Tune in next time to find out what happens to the last cast off and his buddies. <laughs> or if we're even still alive. Who knows? The last time I jumped into that thing, I died. So there's that. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this tool, then please drop us a like and subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.